Hey, what's up, everybody? It's the Liberal Loudmouth. So we have some breaking news here that the ICJ, the International Court of Justice, has just issued a ruling, if you will, uh, about whether or not Israel is committing genocide. And they say that it is plausible that Israel is committing genocide. So now they're going to go forward and they're going to uh, investigate further. Let's go over this document and this press release uh, together. Okay, so here is the document, the press release that they put out. Uh, it says here, it is recalled that on the 29th of December, 2023, South Africa filed an application instituting proceedings against Israel concerning alleged violations by Israel uh, of its obligations under the Convention on the Prevention and Punishment of the Crime of Genocide, the Genocide Convention. In relation to Palestinians in the Gaza Strip, in its application, South Africa also requested the court to indicate provisional measures in order to protect against further severe and irreparable harm to the rights of the Palestinian people under the Genocide Convention and to ensure Israel's compliance with its obligations under the Genocide Convention not to engage in genocide and to prevent and to punish genocide. In its order, which has binding effect, the court indicates the following provisional measures. By 15 votes to 2, so it wasn't even really that close at all, the State of Israel shall, in accordance with its obligations under the Convention on the Prevention and Punishment of the Crime of Genocide in relation to Palestinians in Gaza, take all measures within its power to prevent the commission of all acts within the scope of Article 2 of this convention, in particular, killing members of the group, causing serious bodily or mental harm to the members of the group, deliberately inflicting on the group conditions of life calculated to bring about its physical destruction in whole or in part, and imposing measures intended to prevent births within the group. By 15 votes to 2, the State of Israel shall ensure with immediate effect that its military does not commit any acts described in point 1 above. By 16 votes to 1, the State of Israel shall take all measures within its power to prevent and punish the direct and public incitement to commit genocide in relation to members of the Palestinian group in the Gaza Strip. By 16 votes to 1, the State of Israel shall take immediate and effective measures to enable the provision of urgently needed basic services and humanitarian assistance to address the adverse conditions of life faced by Palestinians in the Gaza Strip. By 15 votes to 2, the State of Israel shall take effective measures to prevent the destruction and ensure the preservation of evidence related to allegations of acts within the scope of Article 2 and Article 3 of the Convention on the Prevention and Punishment of the Crime of Genocide against members of the Palestinian group in the Gaza Strip. By 15 votes to 2, the State of Israel shall submit a report to the court on all measures taken to give effect to this order within one month as from the date of this order. All right, now there you have it. Uh, Israel has lost in court, and essentially the, uh, the court has determined that it is likely that they are committing genocide and they're going to go further with their investigation. If you notice in there, one of those points was that they can't uh, they have to preserve the evidence in order so that they can, uh, you know, investigate it properly. Now, you know, the international court has no authority more than what we give it, right? There's no military that's going to come in and, and, you know, knock your doors down or whatever. Uh, but they agreed to these things and are part of this organization. They've agreed to these things in the past, so... Uh, they could just walk away from it and say, you know what, we're not part of this. We're, you know, to hell with y'all. Uh, and we'll see how that works out for them. But um, it it is, to me, this is a great thing because what Israel has done to Gaza is just unconscionable. You know, what, over 12,000 kids have been killed. They're just flattening the area. There's really nowhere to live anymore in northern Gaza, at least. They just flattened it all just Oh, uh, we're, we're, we're looking for Hamas. They're, look, Hamas is in a tree. We got to get rid of the tree. I mean, they were destroying cemeteries. They were digging up graves, y'all, and saying, well, there, 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 there was a missile battery that we saw in the cemetery, so we had to dig them up. Maybe maybe there's tunnels in the cemetery. I mean, it's, it's nuts. And they, they make all these claims that would later turn out to be 
based on nothing but claims, you know, oh, they're raping everybody. Well, where's the proof? Because there were a lot of women that said otherwise. Uh, Maybe it happened. I don't know. I still haven't seen the proof yet. Remember all the babies that were supposedly burned alive and remember all that? It turned out not to be true. Uh, It's just propaganda after propaganda after propaganda pushed by the media. This is a Democrat and Republican issue. They've been pushing for this war against Gaza. I mean, they've effectively stated uh, out in the open, Israel has stated that their intention is to get rid of all of these people. And I have no doubt, there's no doubt in my mind that they wanted to flatten the area so that they could come in and just bulldoze all the rubble and rebuild and grow Israel into a larger area than it was before. That's why Israel is larger than it should have been, you know, back when they uh, took the country, they got, you know, 55% and the Palestinians got 45% of their own land, mind you. So this is a, I think this is a win. This is big news. This puts egg on Israel's face. Now all of the countries in the world can look at them and say, yeah, court found that you were committing genocide. I mean, they presented evidence. It's just like a court. They present evidence. South Africa did uh, against Israel and Israel made its case and said, no, we're not doing that. You know, but we're talking videos, pictures, you know, eyewitness testimony, you know, things that people are having to deal with. The fact that when they get aid trucks in there, uh, you know, uh, the Israel Israelites have to go in there and look at it. And if they find one thing that's on the truck that that's not supposed to be there, like a tent, uh, they send the whole truck back for aid. It's like, no, no, no. There was one item in this whole trailer. trailer, And, you know, so we're just going to have to send the whole thing back. Uh, it's all designed to put pressure on them and force them out. It's ethnic cleansing it's it's a genocide and it needs to stop and right now we have a court order saying that they need to stop and so we'll see how i'm pretty sure israel's gonna just walk away from the court system right they're just gonna say well we're just not gonna participate and i'm sure the united states is gonna put its hand right up israel's butt uh benjamin netanyahu's butt uh you know this, this is a problem um and and no i'm not pro hamas because uh, I already see the comments come, oh, my God, he's pro Mars, you're a pro-terrorist. No, no, that's not true either. And I'm not an anti-Semite either. Uh, just call him like I see him. Anyway, so this is great news, y'all. Uh, spread the word. It's good stuff. And we will catch you next time. Peace.